it's Ketchy, aka OBGEM. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified of all future videos. And if you like what you see, please do hit the like button so I know to keep making content like this. So we are here with a brand a new creative sim, and this one is a part of the collaboration I am doing with a few other simmers. They are the lovely Plumby. I have done many Kaz collaborations with her so far. All of them, I believe, she has organized. I love doing Kaz uh, collabs with Plumby because she's just so incredible and nice, and she's got an amazing channel. You probably already know her, but if not, please do check out Plumby's a YouTube channel. She just hit 10k, which is so incredible. So show her lots of love and support. The other collaborators are Tiana Berry and a Classy Simmer. And for this collaboration, we all are making a Sims that are part of a particular clique. And this clique in particular, it's going to be the Bot Savant from the Discover University pack. You know, there are a couple different clubs that you can join when you're in university. And one of them is the Bot Savant Club club as a club that is involved in robotics and I believe they're with Foxberry I'm, I'm guessing because I honestly don't actually play a lot with the club systems or with the clubs and activities in university the three or four times I put my sins through university they kind of have been nose in the book types so I honestly haven't explored it as much as I could have but I thought it was so cool uh, Plumby decided to give us a couple different choices to pick from for our clicks and Bot Savants just really jumped out to me and it I guess it did with Tiana Berry and Classy Summer too because they also I believe voted for Bot Savants too. <laughs> but for this, um, for my sim that's part of this click, her name is Fiona Delfry. She's actually from well-to-do family. Her mom is a world-renowned fashion model and designer and her dad is a world famous physicist because of her mom's profession she has at her feet and at her fingertips all of the world's greatest fashion and she's kind of used that to her advantage to kind of be the queen bee in her inner circle but in reality she's not really all that comfortable being all dolled up in in the world's best fashion it's just something she kind of fell into and because she you know she's concerned with being liked and she wants to have like a large friend group she kind of just leaned into that but it's not really her passion it's not really what she wanted even though her mom would really love for her to follow in her footsteps and enter the world of fashion design and modeling Fiona is not really with that she actually is more interested in following in the footsteps of her father who's the physicist and that is part of the reason why she decided to go to Foxbury University and join the bot savant she is really interested in learning about robotics uh, robotics and she wants to be a world famous roboticist and and be in the same league as her dad so I decided to give her that duality I thought it was interesting I wanted to give it like a unique spin so I did do two looks the first look is the one I'm putting together right now which is her kind of queen bee look well I was putting it together I think I moved on to the second look but I wanted it to look pretty queen bee, um, it actually kind of looks circa 2000 to me, like if you think, well I mean I'm dating myself, but um, I, I was in high school in the early 2000s and so it looks kind of like the fashions of that time and like the type of fashions you would expect like the super popular girls to be wearing, think Mean Girls, what the plastics were wearing, that is kind of her everyday look, her queen bee look and that. And her second look is actually more of her style. She honestly doesn't like being dolled up. She doesn't like being all make up uh, being, and caked and all of that and wearing all this expensive fashion. It makes her very uncomfortable, but she kind of just plays that part, like I said, so that she can, you know, be popular and be the center of attention. But she, you know, she's, fear she's always been fearful that she, you know, won't find a place where she belongs but it's an uncomfortable feeling for her having to pretend to be that way when she's not really. The second look is actually more of her 
her real fashion. It's a whole lot more relaxed and this is a type of outfit she wears when she's tinkering with her robotics and just dealing with all of that so I thought it'd be interesting to have that duality but I am finishing this up I did slightly change her hair for her first look but you'll see that in the little cinematic I have at the end here let me know what you thought of this look guys and and, and as always stay safe stay healthy and of course stay dazzled I'll see you in the next one bye